Good afternoon, folks. It's uh, time to rescue some bees. Uh, bees have moved, made their way into this valve box before, and they got removed and sealed out. But the seal doesn't do any good if the next guy that gets in here doesn't close it and leaves the gap for the bees to come in. So let's see how long they've been here. Give them some gentle puffs of smoke to help keep them calm. And then let's see what's, what's growing on in here. Oh, it's heavy. This one's full. The entrance rocks are a little seasoned too, so they probably moved in right after the other one was kicked out. Oh yeah, big chunks of juicy comb. Look at all that honey. That's all capped honey. Yummy, yummy honey. We'll set this in the, in the hive box for now. And then uh, get to emptying this one. <clears throat> Got my stringers here. Just a frame with some uh, cotton twine staple on the back. Pull it out. Oh yeah, they've been here a little while. We got some larvae down in there. Shake the bees. New hive. Cut it and carve it and put it in. And then use rubber bands to keep it held in place. Now the bees will attach the comb to the frames and the strings. The rubber bands will eventually pop and they'll kind of chew through them. And the bees will drag the rubber bands out. And uh, before you know it, they have a, a well put together hive box. <clears throat> the cotton's twine also, though. They'll, they'll chew that out. Get it out of the way. Keep the upside up on the comb so the eggs and larvae don't drop, fall out. All right, that should hold it in place. We'll stick this in the hive. Grab another. Kind of looks like somebody already opened this up because this comb's already collapsed and they've repaired it on the floor. We got some rocks stuck to it. We still got larvae in there. I'm going to trim off these rocks in the part that's really collapsed. So this size box that I have 
It's in between a medium and a deep. Maybe it's extra medium. But we've been calling it a meat. It's just more fun. Meat, meat, as I knock over the camera. All right, what's the next piece? Bees are getting a little buzzy. I'll give them a little more smoke. Try to get them to chillax a little bit. Obviously there's equipment in here. This one's got a pretty good size valve in it. And it's got wires that control the valve. So you gotta be careful not to cut that. You don't want to damage the equipment. Some nectar and some pollen. I'm trying to put this comb so it connects the to the next piece of comb. Have the pieces touch a little bit so the bees can walk across. It just makes them a little bit easier. It makes it easier for them. They can connect it quicker, they can get around easier. That should do it. nectar it's not capped up I'm gonna give it to them anyway hopefully it's not too messy <clears throat> That much less they'll have to build. So they can pretty much repair and reuse it. Grab a queen clip so I have a good clean one handy when you when you find her.
here's the, what the queen clip looks like. So it's got gaps in big enough that the worker bees can come in and take care of her. Bring her food and everything, keep her, keep her good. Uh, the worker bees can go through the gaps, but she can't, so she's locked in. And we'll lock that shut with a rubber band. Okay, well, I think I got cut off because the camera got too hot. But that's the queen clip. We're looking for the queen. I got all the comb out and frame uh, banded up into frames. And now I'm trying to get the bees to run out. I gave them a little ramp in the middle of the valve assembly. The filter side of it, just something to walk up so they don't have to fly. Uh, now we're just trying to get everybody out of the box. There's still quite a few bees in here, so there's a decent chance she's still in here hiding. Between a little bit of smoke and a little bit of a repellent, we're gonna try to get everybody just to walk on out of their box and into mine, which will be their new home. We got some clusters here, so we'll give them a little assistance. Lift them up, pour them right at the entrance. Another one here, lift them up, right at the entrance. Just scooping handfuls of bees while looking for the queen. Nice bright flashlight helps to shine a little light on the situation. Look for the queen, queen scrambling to get out. Ah, oh, there she is. I see her now. Climbing up.
lost her in the mix. So we'll just look, look, watch for her coming over the edge of the flow of bees here. Seem to have stopped walking. Come on now. Try to cheat a little bit here. Go that way. Go that way. She likes to hide under the lip of these boxes. The other bees are running that way. I bet she's running that way too. That's not where we need them to be going. So we can grab her and make sure she gets into the box safely. Instead of running underneath it or into the bush, or some rocks. So there's the queen bee in the clip. I'll lock her in with a rubber band, put her in the middle of the hive, and get everything cleaned up. Okay, well, uh, I got everything all cleaned up. A couple stragglers still working their way out. The bees are going to the entrance of their new meep house. I got the lid pretty much cleaned out, still got the tape on it, solid. I gave some fresh liquid nails to seal the hole, plugged up, and the comb's all scraped out of there. A little bit of drippy residue, but that's all right. Um, anyway, I'll give them some more time to get out of the box, and I will get out of here and on to the next one. Go save some more bees.